Hi, it's Wayne here from Adreno Brisbane with some spearfishing tips. Today's tip is about surface Some spearfishers, and especially newer ones, will often run their surface intervals too short. And it's very easy to do, but they don't give themselves enough recovery time. And you can be up there and have a dive, come up, shorten your surface interval to what it should be, your next dive is going to be tough. Or, just short, you go, I'm over this, and you come up, and instead of spending your, your normal time down there, it's short. So it, 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 that's your first problem. Second problem, if you do it quite often in a day, or, or say a morning, or something like that, you run your surface interval short, dive after dive, well, you will build up a depletion of oxygen, and that moves into the area of safety where you know, after short surface intervals and then all of a sudden you've got a, a fish, maybe a snapper or something that makes you st uh, stick on the bottom for longer, well you've already depleted your oxygen reserves from, from your, your, your flesh with your short uh, in intervals, you can give yourself a, uh, a blackout or a samba or something like that. So that wouldn't be good. So how can we judge this? Well probably a good place to start is getting yourself a dive computer. Now I've got a, a Suntu free diving watch. The dive computer doesn't have to be the Suntu, it's my favourite, but it needs to show a couple of things. One is it needs to show the duration of your last dive, the depth of your last dive is very handy and tick off as you're on the surface, your surface interval. Now this gives you something now that you can manage because without that, and I still do this time and time again, if I'm diving without my computer, I will shorten my surface interval and it will be a little while before I go, whoa, I'm struggling here a little bit, you know, what's going on? And it'll be because I've shortened it too many times. Uh, probably a good place to start is minimum three times your dive time is your surface interval time. Now, you've got to be flexible on that. <laughs> you say, oh, I've done my surface interval time. However, you're kicking in a two knot current, well, that's going to make things different. So if you're drifting, three times your dive time is probably a, a, a good place to start. What this will do, it will give you the situation where instead of halfway through the day, you've moved your dive uh, depth and time below, considerably shorter or, or, or less depth because you've done too many short intervals at the early part. Start off the day diving, you know, what, plus 20 metres or something like that, whatever, wherever you're at in your level, at the end of the day you might be struggling with 10 metres because you've done so many short surface intervals. You know, it, it is a, a, a real bonus to keep a track of your dive times and keep a track of your surface interval and plot it during the day. So this doesn't mean that uh, you know, you're up on the surface, you've just got back to the surface, you've had a couple of breaths, and next thing this big fish comes in, you go, oh, I'm not, yeah, my, my dive time, surface interval's not ready. And, you know, <laughs> it doesn't mean you do that. Of course not. Or you, you're drifting along, and before your, your normal surface interval is ready by, by, your, by your computer, there's a lovely bomber you want to dive. Well, you know, of course you're, you're not going to hold yourself up. But if you're just drifting, there's not a hell of a lot happening, it really pays to work out your surface interval. On the far end of not handling correctly, if you're a diver who's diving deep, and I'm saying 25 plus, and you're doing this for a fair bit of the day, you're gonna run into another whole different thing if you shorten your surface interval, and that is decompression sickness. And it is uh, a danger to uh, free divers and spearfishers in that situation and we'll have to do another whole video on this because uh, it does present a lot of different factors. Three times your surface interval may not be enough to shuck off the nitrogen that's in your system. So uh, consider this when you're actually in that area and look out for our video on decompression sickness as it uh, um, applies to the spearfishers and freedivers. So manage your surface time, make your diving more fun, comfortable at the end as well as at the beginning and win. Get your fish. All right, it's Wayne from Adreno. Cheers.